Time now for the Insider's Quick Six. We bring back Senate Majority Leader Jack Whitford. Question one. On your side, you want $6 million more for the corrections. The House wants $20 million more. What's the solution here? Uh, the solution is working with the Department of Corrections to see what they need to make sure our employees are safe. Uh, we're doing that right now, and I think we'll find an agreement in the middle. Uh, question two, what's your relationship like with House Speaker Pat Grassley? Uh, we're building a relationship. You know, we, we've been in the legislature together for a long time, but didn't serve on a lot of committees. But over the last year, it, it's, it's been good. It's been productive, and we continue to get a lot of things done. All right, question three is about titles. Since okay. you used to be the president, okay. now you're the majority leader. What's the biggest difference day to day for you? Um, the, the president's job is really just presiding over the chamber and the majority leader decides what actually gets voted on. So there's a lot more emails and phone calls trying to get bills passed up in the majority leader office. A lot more conversations too with members, yeah, I would suspect. Right. <laughs> All right, question four. Are you going to run for Congress in 2022 or would you rather be governor one day? I plan on running for re-election to the Senate. Uh, question five. I'm going to go back to your sports life here, okay? okay. As, a, as an athlete at Iowa State. Let's talk about this transfer portal. All right. Okay. So most college football and basketball players in the past would have to sit out a year before they could transfer. Now with this transfer transfer portal, these new rules, you can for the most part decide to decide to transfer, and you can still do that without sitting out. Is this mostly good, do you think, for college sports, or mostly bad? Well, I would look at it from a college athlete's perspective, and I think it's good. Um, I do like the rule where you get maybe get one time to transfer and not just transferring every single year. But um, these kids make commitments when they're 17, 18 years old. The coach might leave after a year or even a month. Uh, so to give them one chance to reset and, and find the good home, I think is, is beneficial. All right, finally your prediction. My prediction is next September, we're gonna have a full house at Jack Trice Stadium. Iowa and Iowa State are both gonna be ranked in the top 15. Big plans ahead for those two teams. All right. Time for our Twitter poll question of the week. Go to iDavePrice, my Twitter account here. Here's your question. Should Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds agree to house migrant children in the state? If you watch the news over the last several weeks, you know there have been so many migrants coming across the border and in many more cases than we've seen in the past where children are coming across with no parents in sight. President Biden has talked to some state leaders about the possibility of temporarily housing some of these children across the state. The governor said it's the president's problem. What do you think about this? Yes, no, you need to know more about this. Go to my Twitter handle here at Price. cast your vote, and then underneath there, if you would like, add to the conversation by posting your comment. Thanks for joining us this week on The Insiders. Let's stay connected throughout the week. We'll see you here next week.